in that space, but the power space is something which has been in focus for a while now. Amidst high power demand owing to unlocking of the economy and the early onset of the summer season, PTC India said that hydro and wind would start contributing in supplementing power. Uh, the only issue with hydropower is that the water flow has been a bit of a concern for a while. And to discuss that, we are joined by A.K. Singh, the Chairman and Managing Director at NHPC. Um, NHPC has about seven hydroelectric projects uh, currently underway and two solar uh, power projects as well. Mr. Singh, good morning and thanks for joining us. Uh, what are the current levels of generation for NHPC at the moment and how has the water flow been? Uh, this year, luckily, the snowfall was good uh, due to the winter and uh, we are getting good uh, quantity of water. So we are generating uh, better than the last year uh, in month, compared to the month of April. And uh, by this time, during this month only, we have generated more than 600 million rain. In, uh, compared to the last year, April uh, month. So, uh, and our machines are already available to take the water for the generation. So, this year we are doing good. Hmm. Right. Mr. Singh, uh, <coughs> just, just, I mean, uh, t tell us the context because one was hearing that uh, uh, as demand uh, shot up, summer uh, was early and uh, because of the heat wave, demand was through the roof. I mean, the peak deficit was high. Uh, so, uh, thermal capacity had to shoulder much of the burden because uh, other, like hydro, etc., was uh, was uh, not contributing as much. Could you tell, uh, set, set the context for us? Is that correct? Uh, with some numbers, I mean, uh, for this time in, uh, of the year, what is the contribution from hydro? What has it been this year? And how do you see that going forward? Uh, I see total capacity, uh, this is all capacity of the power in the country, roughly 400 gigawatts. And out of 400 gigawatt, 236 gigawatt is from the thermal, and around say 47,000 uh, megawatt from the hydro. And out of 47,000, we have the uh, NPC as the 7,000 megawatt. Mm -hmm. So the peak demand has come till now is in 190 uh, gigawatt. Last year we see it has gone up to 2,007 gigawatt. And uh, as far as the hydro is concerned, we are there for the picking power. And uh, of course, the runoff river is also there, uh, runoff plant. So, no, uh, we're doing the daytime also. But uh, at the time when the picking power is required, hydro play a big, uh, major role. And we are ready with this uh, hydro power plant as, our, uh, as uh, the maintenance of all the plants are uh, done between the October to February, you know, November to February, that all the plants are ready. And uh, now this, uh, due to good snowfall in the region, then uh, particularly in the Himachal and the GNK, we are getting uh, good uh, quantity of water and uh, we are already generating uh, better than the last year. So as far as the hydro is concerned, we are doing our best and uh, it is uh, doing rather better than the last previous year. And uh, so there should not be any worry about this uh, taking demand or the base load. Because even in the thermal power also, they have sufficient coal. So their their stock is not much, but they are able to do it and they will do it also. So as far as the power the supply is concerned, we should not uh, worry much about it. Good morning. Now a word on your company itself in terms of financials. Uh, it's not been much headway that you made. Your FY17 numbers and FY21 numbers are pretty much similar in terms of your EBITDA and EPS. Uh, now you've done a lot of capex. So do we expect these numbers to improve from here on now? Uh, definitely. This time, uh, this financial year going to commission at least uh, two units in the uh, city, getting 500 megawatt. And you know, this year what happened, because of the, some NGT order, we have to do the, uh, really the environmental inflow of uh, 15 percent, which has resulted in uh, cut down of roughly 1,000 uh, million units. Even then, we have crossed the design energy of 24,600 and gone to 24,800 uh, million units. So by getting this uh, Subhanshri project during this financial year, definitely we'll be able to achieve the highest ever generation uh, during this current financial year. Okay. So, uh, and as far as the new business is concerned, we are already working on seven uh, projects. And uh, we have used the capex also higher, the highest ever capex of say 
5,200 crores mm. and uh, some of the projects coming from like Subhanshiri from this year and by end of uh, mm -hmm. February to day 6 we will be completing around 6,000 crores of uh, 6,000 megawatt additional. So adding this all the 6,000 by February 26, we, the size of the company will almost double and we are doing on the solar also. So with the passing of the time and every year we are going to add the project and all this uh, uh, numbers will increase automatically. Okay. And I further want sure, to sure. add here. Got it. You so you're saying that currently your capacity is 7,000 megawatts and by FY26 you will add an additional 6,000 megawatts. So you will literally be doubling the capacity uh, by FY26. What is the capex that you're putting on board and any debt that you may have to take on board to uh, sort of meet this extra capacity needs? We have sufficient money with us. We can go even up to 10,000 crores of the capex every year. Uh, because of our, uh, we have to take the equity of 30% and the, for the equity we have sufficient money from our uh, ongoing projects. So there is no problem with arranging the funds and uh, whatever the uh, new projects are coming, we are adding uh, projects also, it will further increase. So our capex is not at all issue. We have the capability of doing 10,000 crores of the capex every year and uh, we are taking the project, commissioning the project one by one and taking new projects also. We are going to start. Uh, the one project at uh, 2880 megawatt very soon, almost uh, we have been final stage of the directions we have acquired the land. So uh, the things are moving well for the NPC. And uh, in the next four or five years, we see a tremendous change in NPC uh, at capacity addition as well the profitability also. And uh, last year also we have given a profitability of 3233 crore. Definitely this year also we are going to increase that profit. I didn't want to put the exact. Uh, uh, number here right now, but definitely going to be more than the last year, huh. and it will keep on increasing. Sure, so sure. The, the, because every year we are going to add some capacity addition. Sir, so uh, sure, we got that. We really appreciate your thoughts. Thanks a lot for joining us on CNBC TV 18. Uh, that's the word coming in from NHPC.